Welcome to the MWR podcast at Fort Carson. Welcome to the MWR podcast. I'm here with Scott Brown from ACS Financial Readiness. So Scott, topic today, ooh, a heavy one. So we have a lot of, you know, new soldiers right out of high school sometimes, mm-hmm. all the way up to, you know, myself who doesn't sometimes pay attention to my finances. So what um, opportunities um, learning about, you know, financial readiness, things like that, um, do you offer um, on here in Fort Carson and typically, you know, ACS Army wide? Yeah, thanks, Megan. And first of all, thanks for having me here. Um, But like you, like you said, I'm one of the, the financial counselors and we do offer you know, the units like the first sergeant or the company commanders, we want to get out to the to the soldiers where they're where they're working. And we do perform classes out there, whether it's budgeting 101, you know, learning about their credit or trying to navigate their 401k, which is that thrift savings plan. So we try to make it a point to get out of our office and uh, meet the soldiers where they work. But also too, like you said, a lot of the young soldiers were just kind of could be lost at your first duty station. It's overwhelming with all the information. And then to to like navigate our own personal finances, it's just very stressful. So we do offer that option where they can actually come in, make an appointment with me or one of my other colleagues, and we can sit down for about an hour, hour and a half and just kind of tailor that session to, to whatever their specific needs are, whether it's, hey, I want to buy a car today or do I have the money? Yeah. <laughs> um, can I afford it? What's my credit score? What is this TSP they keep talking about? Um, so any any range of financial topics, we want them to come to us and uh, see what we can do for them individually or for the unit as a whole. Yeah, yeah. So as you were talking, I just thought, you know, yeah, not just when you get to a new duty station, just fresh out of, you know, basic training, but honestly, when you're moving to a new duty station in general, you know, the cost of living is different locally, you know, your, you know, your spouses may, may or may not have a job. You're looking at childcare expenses. You're looking at different options. So I mean, I would honestly say it's probably valuable going any new move or even occasionally kind of auditing yourself. <laughs> no, I can't completely agree. And you bring up a great point. Um, you know, the financial readiness divisions brought up like military touch points. So anytime there's a big life event, such as a PCS, new duty station, marriage, divorce, <laughs> um, we'd want you to come get a checkup with, with one of the financial counselors or, or someone that you'd prefer. But um, we want you to come see us and just go over that financial um, situation, kind of like the Army uses the AAR, right, the after mm-hmm. action review. Every yeah. year, me and my wife, we sit down January, right on my birthday, and uh, we kind of go over the last year of finances, relationship-wise and career-wise. But yeah, we definitely want to take a look at that and see how our situations change and what we can do to better it yeah. uh, when it relates to finances. Yeah, well, and that's a good point, too. You, reviewing it yearly, then you can set those goals. Like, hey, we want to take a vacation this year. How long is it going to take us to save up? Can we even take a vacation? Exactly. You know, things like that. So, um, well, that being said, kind of those tips and tricks kind of thing, Mm -hmm. um, reviewing yearly, but you know, it can be so overwhelming. Like how, do you have any other tips and tricks of like, you know, okay, so setting up a bank account, some of these, these kids, they really, this is their first paycheck. Like not like getting over that excitement of I have money and like thinking at it from a standpoint of strategic management. Yeah. You know, when I, I'm glad we're here, too, because we can get that face out. We can get our name out. We do want to be that kind of resource for soldiers to turn to when maybe they realize, maybe I'm a little bit over my head with my finances, or I just got my first paycheck. What? How do I open up a bank account? Yeah. Who can they go to, to that they can trust? And I think ACS Financial Readiness is the solution. We're there just to educate, help them guide them through their financial life. We're not going to sell them anything. We're not going to you know, shift them to any other place off base. We want to take care of their needs in, in in-house so that we're setting up, setting them up for success. Um, And so, yeah, we will help them identify bank accounts, identify loans and, and kind of go through their whole Well, that's a good, that is a good point because, you know, we typically think, okay, I'll go to the bank and they'll educate me there, but in their best interest, they're offering those products. Whereas ACS is looking at it from the soldier and family member standpoint to look at it of what's the best value and option for you. Um, So that's, that's a 
Very good yeah, point. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, MWR, or ACS, you know, we're, we're about that military community, so yeah. we definitely want to take care of our soldiers, our families, and our civilians as well, too. Great, so. great. Um, well, I know you had some very specific programs you wanted to mention. Um, what are a few of those that you guys are working with? Um, so, financial? yeah, within ACS, like I said, please, if you ever have any financial questions, just shoot me an email, give me a call, we can sit down one-on-one. Um, another big one that we, we also do at Financial Readiness is Army Emergency Relief. Uh-huh. And so that one is a, it's a nonprofit 501c3, but it's kind of tied into the Army. And we uh, help soldiers with interest-free loans as well as grants in certain situations if they're faced with a financial emergency. And so a lot of that stuff, you can go to our ACS website through the MWR um, area and uh, get, get all that information to apply online. But also with AER, you know, I think a lot of our spouses, too, don't, don't get the uh, credit they deserve mm-hmm. or, or get the information, too. But AER, Army Emergency Relief, offers scholarships to spouses as well. Oh, wow. Hopefully they're aware of the MyCAA information, but AER scholarships are, are available for spouses and dependent age children. And so wow. those are grants. And so... Okay. We want to get that word out there. So Man, I wish apply. I would have known you, about You're that. still eligible. Why not? <laughs> oh, no, not going, not going for the doctorate. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's a really good point because those are things that you, you panic about. You know, you're like, oh, my gosh, okay, and then a credit card gets run up because of the emergency. Mm-hmm. And so if you can arm yourself with that knowledge and facts on how to, to utilize that relief fund mm-hmm. ahead of time the better off for sure (laughs) and like you mentioned before you know setting those goals we definitely want to help soldiers set those goals of building that emergency fund staying debt free i mean we can't you know push that enough (laughs) but in the case when that falls through we have a lot of resources like aer and other community programs that can help out in certain situations okay awesome Mm -hmm. awesome any other programs you want to mention Uh, so again I'm here for financial readiness, but I also don't, don't want to kind of miss out on all the other ACS programs. Uh, I would de- definitely say that our website is our number one resource to, to go out there, especially if this is your first duty station. Yeah. Take a look. Um, give it to your spouse if you're married. There's just so much stuff available through MWR and ACS that, that can help build that financial resiliency or, or that family resiliency that we need for these yeah. tough times after this COVID oh pandemic. So Well, and that's, that brings up a good point. Like the open communication with spouses and family members is honestly probably one of the key things that gets missed on understanding that that basic on financial readiness. If you're not open with each other, if you're not communicating needs and things like that, that can also get you in trouble. But you know, (laughs) and my wife's a therapist, but sometimes in my financial counseling, I almost have to be a referee and I kind (laughs) of take a time out and maybe, you know, refer to the chaplains or the MFLEX, but uh, definitely communication, compromise and cooperation, the three C's of my, you know, financial planning. Um, We, we got to be on the same page with our spouse and also too with our goals if we're single to to make sure we're successful in the yeah. future yeah 100 mm-hmm. percent. well thank you very much for um you know being a part of the podcast and thanks for having this. me i appreciate it thanks